Mosey started his SoundCloud journey back in 2016 under the alias Lil Mosey and he's been consistently releasing music since then. It honestly didn't take long for Mosey to start gaining traction and start to get recognition for some of the music he was putting out and even to this date so bad his second song released on SoundCloud that's still listed at least is one of his top stream songs especially on SoundCloud. Because this video isn't the backstory of Lil Mosey though I'm not going to go too much into that, rather look at the fact and bring up the question, why did Lil Mosey fail or why did the Mosey experiment fail? I believe that there are three main reasons to why Mosey's success has started to dwindle out and why he started to what appears to be falling off. Before we go any further, I want to make it very clear that this video is to not hate on Mosey whatsoever, but look at him and his career as of late through numbers and really just look at what what has led to his decline because it is no doubt that Mosey has experienced a decline within his career at least but this video is in no way shape or form to hate on Mosey. I have tons of other videos on him, I'm a fan of him and with that being said, we're gonna get into this. I believe that the first reason to why Mosey has started to experience a decline is something that a majority of listeners could tell, and it's the fact that Mosey's sound is very generic. Now, don't get me wrong, back when Mosey was starting to kind of break into the scene, I think that that sound was something that hadn't been utilized to the level where we see it at now, where everything is really cluttered, and that kind of sound is just kind of oversaturated at this point, but back then, I think Mosey utilize this sound and the fact that he was one of the first people doing it I think he took advantage of that and obviously he was able to build a career out of it now the problem with this is the career that Mosey built obviously at the time we might not have been able to tell but looking back at it now it definitely wasn't a career that was gonna last a long time at least not compared to maybe some other artists even artists that came out a year or two before Mosey and are still off doing way better than he is now like Trippy Red or even Uzi and Cardi they came out in 2016 2017 and they're still doing very well number wise or at least way better than an artist like Mosey in his situation. I personally believe that the best way for Mosey to kind of get out of where he is right now is a couple things. One, I think he definitely needs to have more emotion in his tracks if he's going to stick with the melodic type sound because obviously it's not really doing it anymore to have the just melodic sound with no really emotional attachment to the music. That doesn't really get you a long lasting career where we have seen past examples of artists like Juice that went down the melodic route and was able able to capture your emotion with it and I think that's why so many people built such a strong kind of connection to Juice's music. We saw this with X as well and I don't think Mosey would be able to do something like that but I definitely think it would be a good start and leaning in the right direction to at least get away from where he is now by just making the one to two minute song that once you hear you don't really go back to or you just kind of put it on as background music or background noise. And honestly that's probably where I kind of think Mosey has always been been at not the fact that he hasn't had hits because he has he has tons of plaques he definitely has songs that have went huge on the billboard and just done good sales wise and views wise on YouTube but I think at the end of the day Mosey's always kind of came back to one of those artists that you don't go out of your way to listen to but you do throw him on and just like we'll listen to him if he comes on on a playlist or an older song like Kamikaze pull up noticed any of those come on you'll listen to him because of the nostalgia nostalgic factor mainly. I just want to make it very clear again that I'm not trying to discredit Mosey or hate on him at all. This is just what I've been able to see and after working on this video, I definitely think some of these things are true. The stigma of being a TikTok rapper really hit Mosey hard. This is pretty evident in quite a few different things. I would say one of the first things that brought this to my attention was the behind the scenes of the Blueberry Fago video when Cole discusses the fact that he didn't want to go too crazy with tying Mosey together with the whole TikTok rapper type scenario. Use this place, but I don't know if I want to use the TikTokers in it because I didn't want to 
because I'm always conscious when I'm working with an artist of their image as well and I didn't know if that's where Mosey should be tied into like I didn't want him to become like a TikTok rapper I didn't know if that was best for him so I was like let's use the house and hint you know pieces of of this whole culture and everything going on but uh let's not take it too far like that that's where my mind was at with it cole obviously explains that he didn't know what they should fully do with it and the label was the one that pushed to have more tiktok influence on the track which kind of had a domino effect on the rest of mosey's career the second example i want to give of this is Look at what Mosey released throughout 2020. This was after we had already gotten Certified Hitmaker and this album was received pretty poorly to some audiences and it also didn't do the best first week numbers. It sold 23,000 units in its first week with merch bundles included and it had no hit on the album which was kind of ironic for the fact that the name of the album was Certified Hitmaker and later on his label did end up adding on Blueberry Fago to the track list but after we got Blueberry Fago officially released, it was just basically TikTok song after TikTok song. Mosey released Top Gone, which was a snippet that was kind of doing good on TikTok. And then there was more and more after that. It was just remixes. We got the Let's Link remix with Tyga, the Be Happy remix with Dixie and Black Bear, and the Past Life remix with Selena Gomez and Trevor Daniel, which all of these rappers at this time were really dominating the TikTok kind of sound and wave, especially when it came to TikTok talk songs blowing up for mainstream audiences at this point it was quite evident that what cole literally said the fact that he didn't know if it'd be the best idea for mosey to be too tied to the whole tiktok scene or tiktok rapper scene it literally became true whether it was from mosey himself wanting to do it which you can't blame him because it was a strategy that was working but for a long-term strategy this added nothing to him. I guess at the end of the day, it did kind of boost his career to another length that some people did not think he would get after Noticed because before Blueberry Fago, Noticed was Mosey's biggest track and the leak from Blueberry Fago and TikTok both helped this song get over a billion streams on Spotify alone, which is insane considering Noticed, which was his biggest hit a couple years prior, had only had 500 million streams on the platform. I personally believe that mostly falling into this TikTok kind of just scene did not help him really whatsoever long term. Yes, it did boost him back to the top and give him at least another chance to have some clout and to really just capitalize off of what he had already done previously. But honestly, a lot of people that were listening to him might have been looking at him as a brand new artist and might not have even have known about some of those previous tracks or the first time Mosey originally blew up. Now, the last point is obviously the allegations that are against Mosey. This is probably something that I'm the last person you want to be hearing really talk about this, and I'm going to keep this part of the video very short because this is a very serious topic, and I just don't want to dive too much into this, but I do want to obviously state that this has left a negative impact on Mosey. These allegations, whether they're true or not, they do leave a bad impact on your career, especially when you're a type of figure like Mosey and he got to the point where he was more associated with TikTok and the mainstream where I feel like this blow definitely hit harder when it happened. Whether you believe them or not, it doesn't change the fact that this did impact Mosey's career. We literally have confirmation from Mosey himself that his album Universal is not able to release because of the fact that these allegations in this case is still ongoing, so his label or team or whoever is not letting him release until this gets cleared up. To sum this video up, I think it's evident that Mosey just wasn't able to transform his sound, his image, and even his brand to have a more long-term type career. It does suck when you see an artist that was at the top start to fall down, especially when they weren't doing clout chasey things all the time to stay relevant. Honestly, Mosey had the type of sound that I would have thought he wouldn't really be able to blow up with it, but because of the timing and everything that happened, it all worked out so well for him at the beginning, but obviously it's all since started to kind of fall apart. I just want to end this video on the note that I'm not saying whatsoever Mosey will never have a hit again. I think that TikTok and just everything we have now 
nowadays is proof that at any point you can have another hit. So I definitely wouldn't put it past Mosey to be able to do it. He's obviously done it again since the last time people considered him falling off, but we'll really just have to wait and see what's in store and what the plan is for Mosey.